folks, we got a red dot. Welcome back to Akron's hottest and fastest growing show, 3 3 to go. I'm your host, Hank Forrester, coming to you live inside the lobby area of your pizza shop, Akron, right here in West Akron on Exchange near Highland Square. In case you've never been here, their wings are phenomenal. We are regular patrons here, all right? That sets the table as to where we're at. So let's go ahead around the room and meet some of these folks. I've got Angela right to my left, okay? I've got Pedro next to him. I've got Todd, and then I've got Amy, all right? So these folks are part of a group of a core of people that are getting ready to respond to a community need that is an immediate need that is now upon us, uh, much to our surprise, but that doesn't mean that we don't get a chance to react appropriately and come together as a community, all right? So right now, uh, I want to I want to ask the first question I'm going to ask is to Angelo. Okay, so Angelo, you are the owner here at your pizza shop, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. So, uh, hi. Tell us your Akron story. That's always the first question I ask. Tell yeah. you know we all. Well, I always like to say we're all kids from Akron. I use the LeBron thing. Yeah. Yeah. So remember, talk yeah. louder and yeah. say hi. Yeah. Hi guys, Angelo from your pizza shop. Uh, so we've been here since November first of eleven. Uh, so we just turned eight years old, eight and a half. Love being a part of the community. Uh, our story started uh, very weak. You know, we, we started from the ground up and we built this beautiful business, but we built it with the community. The community has built our business. You know, and that's who we are. We're a community-based business and, and that's where we are. That's where we are today and we meet the wonderful people that we do and, and I believe it's not possible without the community. So, yeah, hi guys. Yeah, so now, now, you got this idea and you just kind of sat down the keyboard and just went. You just start typing, right? Yeah, so, uh, I mean, there's a lot of, a lot was going on. We, we were making pizzas, and I, and I seen a press release, and I seen the schools were going to shut down, and immediately thought, how are the kids going to eat? So it was really just in between timers on a fryer cooking chicken wings. to started typing things up. I didn't even proofread it. I hit sent. This was on a phone. I did it for myself. You did this on the phone? Between, yeah. The, the post between, from yesterday was typed on a phone between pizzas. Yeah, well, right? between chicken, yeah. Between chicken. I had 13 minutes to cook chicken, so I just hurried up and I typed it, my buzzer went off, and I put my phone in my pocket and... You hit send, and then you went back to cooking. Yes. And then like, yeah, about 20 minutes later, half hour later, you went... Don't make it. Actually, I didn't know until late that night when I got home after work, my family approached me, they were like, Dad, Dad, and... The white people come along, hey baby, you know, what's going on guys, hello, what's the, you know, and they said look, and they showed me, <laughs> and it was just growing out of, and we just had an amazing response, it was overwhelmingly, it was definitely emotional from the responses, it's a, it's a wonderful thing, and then this morning when I woke up, it was, it was on fire. So, just so you know, he, he posted it yesterday, and it's got, over, it's well over 6,000, it's approaching 7,000 7, shares at this point. So right now, um, let's go ahead and say hi to the folks from Wobble, okay? Wobble is West Akron Baseball League, all right? And Softball League. Go ahead and tell me, tell, tell, uh, for folks that don't know what that is, tell us about the, the history of Wobble. Uh, well, Wobble was founded in 1957, and uh, we've been hosting you know, kids uh, baseball and softball for many years. We're proud to be you know, a big organization here serving the community, and we've been blessed to uh, team up with your pizza shop uh, to continue to serve our community here. Now, they actually have Wobble Wings here, named after the, the lead. They actually have, those wings are on the menu, all right? I get them regularly. I, they're my favorite, okay? So now, there's a lot of moving parts to what's about to happen. And here's what they're proposing. Next week, at the start of the week, and we're not, we're not going to be committing to anything right this second. This is just to give you an idea of what's coming. Next week, we're going to be committing resources, food, people, and the community area to be able to feed kids that are at, uh, you know, Akron Public School kids or any public school group districts that the kids, you know, are they reliant on lunches being provided by schools and they may or may not have that food option at home. So this is to fill that need. Akron Public Schools is going to be doing their own thing independently from this. So this is its own independent thing. Uh, and to give you an idea, we just met over at Mustard Seed, and we're gonna we're gonna be working on a lot of moving parts. Okay, um, there's going to be logistics involved as far as how to pick up the food. It's gonna be near this premises uh, in a building uh, at or nearby, and on top of that, you'll be you'll be in your car. 
So it'll be a situation, obviously right now we're practicing uh, social, so, uh, social distancing, and to maintain that, the food will be delivered to the window of your vehicle. So you will drive up, they'll, they'll have runners, they'll bring you the food, hand it to you, and away you go. All right? Now, on top of that, oh, look, we got some press people coming in right now. On top of that, um, we're going to need help as far as volunteers. Uh, there's going to be some logistics involved. So why don't we talk through that, Amy? What, what are some of the things that we talked about at the table in regards to um, some of the things that are going to be needed to be taken uh, account for? Um, so, yes, I'm too late. Um, we're figuring out on how we're going to have the flow of traffic for around this area so we are not um, having exchange be completely packed with full of cars. Okay. Um, and then getting volunteers to come out and help um, to get the food to people in their cars. What about um, if people want to do donations? How's that going to be handled? Um, donations, we're going to try to set up a PayPal account. Um, we're in the process of working on that right now. We'll have links at the bottom um, for any donations or anything. And we will also have an email set up. Um, so you can always email or call, and we can kind of work you guys through like, what you need to do. And, and I think what we, what we talked about and we discussed as well, and the passion that Angelo has and the fact that West Africa Baseball and Softball League, uh, they service about 650 families in West Akron. Um, we have a great extensive social network, which is really important here. Um, but what we did talk about, something that's going to be a little different from APS, at the public schools, uh, with their nutrition program and continuing and keeping that open is, we talked about going from 7.30 in the morning till nine o'clock. And the reason we want to do 7.30 to nine o'clock is for the simple fact, we know that some parents out there have to get to work by eight or nine o'clock. So for them to be able pick up a bag of sandwich for however many kids they have, for example, uh, to be able to get back home, drop that off, and know that their kids have uh, a lunch available to them. For the ones that can't get to their local uh, school, their cluster school, um, I think that's very important to be able to provide that time frame for the kids as well, or for the parents as well. So that's, I think that's kind of what we were discussing as well. Absolutely. So, folks, this is a additional service these folks are coming together as a community to help our community that's about to be in need we are all going to be impacted by this we still don't we still can't even fathom the ramifications this is going to have on us uh, financially um, but while we're in this time of need and while parents are struggling to figure these things out uh, Angelo um, Wobble and all a bunch of others from the from the community are going to be teaming up to make this happen okay all of these details are going to be shared here in the next probably by sunday i'm taking there's a lot of moving parts of this and it's all got to come together very quickly so keep your eyes posted um, uh, to that page the your, the your pizza shop akron once he has that all up and running we will also share it to three three to go all right anything, anything else said uh, yeah, real quickly, I just want to say, keeping the main thing, the main thing here is, that is the kids, and making sure that they're getting the food that's necessary. We love our APS, and we know that after public schools and the local districts are going to take care of their kids uh, during the hours of operation that they'll be open. This is just to help offset that, uh, kind of like a supplemental insurance, if you would. But uh, again, I personally, my, my wife Amy, and my good friend, dear friend Pedro here, uh, we really appreciate your pizza and the relationship we've had over the years uh, with his community support. And he's, Angelo and his team do a, a fantastic job, and we look forward to partnering up, whether it's making the sandwich or executing and getting the, uh, the food distributed. We look forward to helping you out, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. And just to piggyback off that, um, I, I would really like for us to, to not focus on your pizza shop. This is a community effort. This is a community-based business. I want this to be us, not I. And, I. and I feel like this is going to take a village to make this happen. I want the kids to, to benefit from this. So although your pizza shop is the one who got the ball rolling, it's not possible without the team support. There has been an overwhelmingly response from community businesses that are willing to donate at a level that it's almost emotional. So thank you guys. I just want to say thanks to everybody who's engaging this. Thanks for the team. Thanks for the support. It's not possible without you. And uh, just thank you. Just thank you. All right, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So, all right. Uh, folks, I'm going to be on tour the rest of the day. I'm heading all over the 330. I'm going to be visiting businesses. 
that are going to be impacted by what's about to come uh, that, are, that are very concerned about uh, the next uh, upcoming weeks. So I'll be live on and off throughout the day. Feel free to tune in. Until then, don't know where I'm going, but there ain't no sense of being late. Folks, join me and say goodnight, Shirley. Yes. Good night, Shirley. <laughs>